okay welcome back today we will uh, review a book which is written by Andrew Somal it is in my hand you will see that uh, the China Pakistan axis this book is written by uh, Andrew Somal I have uh, read all the book the book is uh, beautifully portrays the China Pakistan relations and uh, the beauty of the book uh, is uh, is uh, lies in the in the in, in different sections in the opening of each section the writer has uh, portrayed some uh, valuable things of uh, eminent uh, uh, position holders like uh, uh, foreign ministers or even where uh, he needs uh, he quotes uh, quotations from uh, prime ministers of the two states and even we can say that this is the start is very important and there are two important things uh, with respect to this book that uh, uh, primarily he has uh, he has uh, given uh, in prologue uh, the the beauty of the book and uh, there is an epilogue at the end so in between prologue and epilogue he has uh, uh, portrayed the the picture of the relations uh, uh, between these two states uh, concentrating the relations uh, and considering them uh, as a question of India and Afghanistan and even USA elsewhere. So the start is very beautiful that uh, uh, in the prologue which starts from uh, from the title that in the shadow of the uh, red, uh, red uh, masjid uh, in the shadow of the red mosque sorry. So uh, uh, he portrayed uh, the incident of Lal Masjid, uh, uh, and uh, which was uh, which was the hallmark of the incidents, uh, the hallmark of the relations uh, at, at the start that uh, that he portrayed. Uh, that what what was what was the cause of the uh, the, the incident like, like uh, that uh, at that very time there was a the band of uh, ulamas who they interfered and uh, means uh, they they have by force they banded uh, with the help of uh, sadanda they they came to the uh, chinese massage center and uh, what so and so 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 that that is basically uh, the the author wanted to connect the uh, relative are the relative uh, series of the relation between the Pakistan and uh, China in the in this context that uh, that uh, that uh, uh, diplomat who was being who, who have been suffered and uh, that that the family suffered and the author asked from the diplomat or ambassador that uh, what was the real cause so so uh, in writing or in composing uh, this book the writer uh, it is the it is not a uh, composition of a uh, year or two years but it is a uh, continuous uh, uh, means uh, the struggle of the author uh, at least of six years so where he visited pakistan china india afghanistan even some middle eastern states so uh, and after that he composed and uh, where he he interviewed so, uh, to so some people some ambassadors some uh, position holders so in the very prologue uh, uh, that uh, the sufferings of the the uh, the, uh, the Al Qaeda. So uh, sorry, he he want to surface uh, the inherent story of Al Qaeda and uh, Al Qaeda networks and its connections with the uh, with the uh, with the with the two parties uh, with the party at the time like the ulamas of the time like uh, he explored. Uh, um, the measure of uh, one party on the one side and the other uh, was the uh, Moran Aziz and his companions. So uh, there was a hostage of the Chinese. So and then uh, we see that uh, and we uh, some people have also have their own point of view. But uh, the writer has uh, uh, surfaced the point of view of uh, which he has an. Uh, uh, narrated by the diplomat and who he was the observer of the event and uh, so he uh, came 
uh, with uh, with certain uh, useful informations. Uh, the second, uh, secondly, uh, the writer starts the book from a very important uh, uh, means fascinating statement that Pakistan is China's Israel. Uh, what the, does uh, the writer means? So writer beautifully portrays each of the events uh, with respect to the Pakistan China uh, in the in this region in different uh, chapters and each chapter uh, portrays a, a very important uh, means a connection of history as well he has shown where necessary. So uh, as we know that uh, that Pakistan the central position uh, Pakistan central position in China's global and uh, regional uh, uh, calculations are very important that uh, at least uh, it, it, it is the success of Pakistan's foreign policy that uh, Pakistan's uh, geostrategic importance uh, uh, means uh, uh, from the times uh, uh, it has been enlarged means uh, and they doubled uh, sometimes in the in the uh, in the mid of the uh, uh, in the mid of the seventies or eighties, so uh, so widely America China uh, bent to uh, towards Pakistan's uh, diplomatic. Uh, so uh, we can say that wisely uh, uh, China became the Pakistan's diplomatic uh, uh, protector as well. So uh, Sino uh, Sino Pakistani ties are. Um, uh, resilient uh, from since early days so uh, so the things that uh, the China according to the writer according to the author that uh, which he portrayed in different chapter like uh, in one of his chapter uh, that he uh, he depicted that some uh, er some areas are uh, these are grave tensions for, for not for Pakistan but for mostly for China like uh, terrorist activities in one of its uh, uh, adjoining uh, province which is giant which is joining to pakistan uh, that is yogyors uh, militant militant activities so that is uh, the area of sore between these two countries so uh, in the early chapters uh, the writer uh, uh, explained or uh, portrayed the uh, the wars uh, firstly war with india that is sino indian war of 1962 so uh, so he he depicted from that very war that uh, India uh, centric foundation at that very time and then uh, uh, finally uh, it valued the strategic uh, calculations of Pakistan's in 1962 Sino-Indian War where the border uh, between uh, the border disputes between Pakistan and uh, China had been uh, amicably solved. Uh, and that became the sore of contention between China and India. Then, then, then it uh, it uh, served Pakistan as a as a as a very uh, means a cool and uh, reliable friend. So that was the, that is the start. And then we see that 1965 that Pakistan war with India that uh, that the author uh, views that China got. Uh, uh, all weather friend in the eyes of Pakistan. So from that very era, we see that uh, the friendship between these two is uh, the highest than uh, Himalayas and deepest and oceans and all those. So uh, all weather friends. Uh, in 1971 war, uh, we see that uh, Pakistan war with uh, India, we see that, that uh, we see the limits of the Chinese uh, China's uh, shown to Pakistan's help and uh, to aid Pakistan and limits uh, limits of relationship between Pakistan and China. So, uh, but China helped Pakistan in the later that uh, we see in the case of uh, Pakistan as a uh, as a through Pakistan's good offices uh, the uh, the famous uh, Nixon visit to China and then. Uh, then we see, uh, according to the author, and then historically we see that a good cordial relation between the students and Pakistan became once again uh, got important. So uh, then Pakistan started its nuclear program, and uh, it was it, it so with the with the with the aid of China and China gave up positive remarks to Pakistan to help uh, 
and to help its uh, its uh, nuclear program despite the sanctions made by uh, uh, by US, US, uh, USA in the in its uh, certain uh, uh, amendments acts so uh, like in the form of its amendments uh, so in the early chapters the, the writer uh, in the in the in the case of the wars with the uh, it's 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 war with india and uh, pakistan india war and then pakistan india war in 71 so pakistan's the writer is of the view that uh, it it is it was a pakistan by which uh, china needs on every time and we then uh, then then we see that china helped pakistan uh, uh, in the pretext of uh, its uh, indian uh, indian rise as a potential uh, uh, competitor to uh, Beijing uh, in the area, so um, it's the it's the Beijing who needs Pakistan, and uh, so the rationale for strategic partnership between uh, Ch China and Pakistan is that uh, that uh, Beijing thought that uh, India it, it is its competitor and uh, not also uh, in, uh, as a India China, China case, but also. That is the subset of uh, the major, calcul uh, major calculation of the South Asian security network that in which uh, the China sees. So uh, India uh, basically in this in, the, in in this chapter I think that is the chapter number three or four where, where the author is of the view that uh, India is the glue which presents uh, uh, which is providing a cushion to the more cardioration to China and. Uh, Pakistan relations and there is a separate chapter uh, where the author discusses the, the Xinjiang which is a close uh, province of one of the China which is in China's uh, northwest and uh, of which China is uh, serious of uh, the um, militant activities uh, uh, coming across from uh, from Pakistani side and uh, even from the Central Asians joining uh, states so here, uh, geographically, uh, the, the, the author has uh, uh, shown that how, what is the importance of the area and uh, he, he presented the well-calculated uh, distances of the area, uh, Yogi Arts, uh, Xinjiang from the Pakistan, Tajikistan, China and the border situation at there. So uh, the author is of the view that it is the uh, militancy uh, across the area which uh, makes a uh, disturbance and trouble for uh, for the China's periphery. Uh, similarly, the militancy in Pakistan, that is the um, area of questions and uh, even in uh, the some of the Central Asian states which are the joining to this. And uh, historically, and Arthur also throws light on the, some visits of uh, Pakistani Zulamas to the, to the China, like the, some of the visits in the uh, of Jamaat Islamis and many others, so that is the that he wanted to highlight the importance of the uh, of the area and uh, connection with the uh, with the militancy and terrorism. So that's why uh, there is a separate chapter which covers uh, and that is the that the wave of uh, terrorism which have a spillover effect on uh, uh, on China as well. Uh, similarly, in this very important uh, area, in, with with respect to the terrorism or militancy, uh, we see that um, the, the 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 author uh, explicitly explored and highlighted the major uh, incident like the targeting of Chinese workers in Pakistan's uh, uh, in Pakistan with connection with the, some uh, commercial activities like CPEG. So uh, basically, he is of uh, he uh, is. Uh, Obviously, he is uh, in his that uh, he is of the view that it is targeting the uh, not only the uh, Chinese personnel or workers, but uh, uh, sabotaging the um, cordial relation between the two states. Uh, so he is serious about uh, the terrorist terrorist activities uh, uh, across uh, or uh, on the border or uh, in 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 some uh, in joining areas of. Uh, these particular states in the region. So uh, there's a there's a chapter in chapter number five where uh, the serious strategies are imperatives, uh, like uh, these have been showed in uh, chapter number five that the uh, that the grand works like CPEG they have an impact on the 
their relations so uh, there is a specific uh, chapter with respect which shows the relation between china and afghanistan and their impact on pakistan the involvement of pakistan as well so military uh, and uh, militancy and uh, that's according to the author is a great threat uh, and he after 9/11 the game has been again has changed and the scenario despite uh, the author is of the view that despite um, china's uh, uh, help in uh, global war against terror that uh, still it uh, sensed and uh, the spillover effect of terrorism in on its own soil so uh, china's uh, is feeling that and uh, and the lastly uh, which is very important that uh, which is a source uh, which which been considered as apprehension for the rest of the states uh, even the great for uh, for the great power state china is uh, uh, is planning to uh, is planning for uh, its uh, planning for its bases in uh, military bases in in pakistan and the leasing of some territories in pakistan and uh, uh and uh, the inclusion of chinese troops in it uh, so the, it would be uh, maybe a game changer and maybe a um, important so so in in this book uh, the uh, the china pakistan axis uh, andrew small beautifully uh, depict all those incidents uh, with uh, with a touch of history to all those uh, the all those events so uh, if if we uh, do all the all the chapters are beautifully uh, uh, beautifully uh, written and the language is so sweet and the one thing which is very fascinating that the uh, that the title of the chapters are like uh, very fascinating like uh, a friendship uh, forged by war like I, i have told you that in the very first chapter he explored the wars the title is very fascinating the wars the three wars similarly nuclear fission rehibernating India, the Chinese war on terror, the trade across the roof of the world, tea with the Taliban, Lord make with uh, them leave, but not yet, and the dragon meets the lion, and then epilogue. So, the writer actually uh, considers Pakistan as the uh, strategic point uh, where, uh, where as well as Afghanistan, where the China, USA, and India. and uh, the chining russia uh, they have their uh, their their interest and uh, utilization of uh, and uh, utilization of the resources and utilization of the uh, of the of their tools for the promotion of their foreign policy interest that is the uh, important uh, area so uh, i would like to recommend this book for the students who are uh, who have a, uh, have a eye on uh, pak china or india or are the regional politics so thank you very much